Welcome to this tutorial on the use of the IEA's IDB Analyzer. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the IEA's IDB Analyzer to compute percentages and means. To follow along this tutorial, you will need the following. A computer running one of the latest versions of Microsoft Windows. This can be a PC or Apple machine running a Windows emulator. The latest version of the IDB Analyzer, which can be downloaded from the IEA website one of the latest versions of SPSS for Windows, and a dataset for your analysis. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use Perl's data from the 2011 assessment, and that was copied to your computer together with your copy of the IDB Analyzer. The IDB Analyzer is a standalone application that creates SPSS syntax to merge and conduct analysis with large-scale assessment data. For a complete list of compatible studies, please refer to the help manual of the IDB Analyzer. This tutorial will show you how to work with data from any of those studies. Remember that because of the nature of the data collection design, you will need to use sampling weights, use replication methods for estimating sampling variance, use plausible values when analyzing achievement data, estimate measurement variance, and combine the error terms for use in significance testing. Ignoring these design features leads to biased results. The technical documentation of each study has details of the specific procedures to be applied in each assessment. The analysis module of the IDB Analyzer is a tool that allows you to select variables relevant for your analysis, create code in SPSS that will be used for the analysis, conduct analysis taking into account the sample and assessment design, and produce results in different formats that can be readily used by other software. It works by reading a data file stored in your local computer. It then uses SPSS as a computation engine for the analysis. Please note that for more efficient processing, you should use your local machine to save all your results. Before we get started, take this opportunity to launch the IDB Analyzer. If you haven't downloaded the, a copy of the IDB Analyzer, please refer to the first tutorial of this series where you'll receive instructions on how to download and install the IDB Analyzer. Also, please start your copy of SPSS. When conducting any analysis with the IDB Analyzer, you will first need to select the analysis type. The program will only allow you to select permissible analysis types based on the contents of your data file. In the second step, you will need to select the statistic type. For this tutorial, we will be working with percentages and means and percentages only. In this tutorial, we will show you how to conduct the following analysis. Percent of boys and girls by country, percent of boys and girls by country and average age, and percent of boys and girls by country and their average reading score. So for our first analysis, we're going to select the analysis module. Then we're going to select the data file that we're going to be working with, the merged Perl's data located in the IDB Analyzer Help Manual Examples folder. We then select the analysis type, pearls using student weights. We select the statistics type, percentages only. And we'll see that the decimals are being pre-selected and the show graphs option is also selected. We go to the grouping variable and we select students uh, sex of students because we want to look at percent of boys and girls by country using the sampling weight and we will define the name of the output file where we want to save the syntax and the output of our analysis. We'll select percent boys girls by country and select OK and we start SPSS. We get the code that's going to do the analysis for us, and we see that the instructions tells us to press Control A followed by Control R to submit the analysis, or we can simply run all. Once the analysis is completed, we have our table where we show by country, by gender, the number of cases, the sum of the weights, the, sum of the standard error of the sum of the weights, and the percent of boys and girls within the country with the corresponding standard error.
For our next analysis, we're going to look at percent and means by boys and girls, but also we're going to introduce a new analysis variable. We're not going to be using plus all values. We leave the number of decimals to two, and we ask it to show graphs for grouping variables. We'll select the sex of the student. And for the analysis variable, we will select age. And we're going to be a type in this blue box, age, and that's going to be filtering the descriptors of the variables. We move it to the right under the analysis variable box. And we proceed to define the name of the output file where we'll save the syntax and the results of our analysis. We're going to call this percents by gender and mean age. We start SPSS. And like before, we see the syntax and we run all. Once the analysis is completed, we go to the top of the output where we'll see unweighted statistics for the analysis variables for each country. We have by boys and girls, the number of people, minimum, maximum, mean, and standard deviation, followed by a table with weighted statistics, and then the results that we're looking for, which, which tells us that we processed 150 replicates, and we have for each country, by gender, the number of cases, the sum of the weights, the percent, and the average age of boys and girls, together with the standard error and standard deviation and percent missing within the country. This is followed by graphics that show um, the relationship between gender and the average age and a table that tells us the uh, a bar graph that also tells us the average age by gender and a table that displays the percentages of boys and girls by country so for our last analysis we'll go back to the ibb analyzer in this case we're going to be working with plus all values so we're going to select the option use pvs we're going to leave Two decimals selected, show graphs. We're going to look for the variable uh, sex of student. And for a plus old value, we're going to select the reading plus old value. For our output, we're going to call this file percent by gender reading achievement. Start SPSS, we'll get the code and run all. Notice in the lower right hand corner where you'll see a display of the progress of the analysis, as well as the processing log that tells you that the plus all values are being used one by one and with 150 replicates. And we get the results. And we'll see that, like in our previous analysis, we have unweighted statistics for the possible values using the analysis. We'll have weighted statistics for the same variables. We'll have the processing log. And we have the results, where we have by country, by gender, the number of cases, some of the weights, standard error of the weights, percent of people by gender, standard error, average reading achievement, standard error, standard deviation, and uh, standard error, the error of the standard deviation. Followed by graphs that show the average achievement of boys and girls in reading, and two bar charts also displaying the average achievement by boys and girls and the percent 
of boys and girls. Two more things that I would like to show you in this tutorial is the output that's generated by the IDB analyzer. If you sort the files by date, you will see, you will find the following. You will find an Excel file called percent by gender reading achievement. And that has the results by that were displayed in the report table. as well as some log information like the file that was used, any selection criteria, the date the analysis was run, etc., etc. You will also find a file that has a SIG at the end, and that would have for, in this case, for each country, the comparison between girls and boys, and you have the average of the girls the average of the boys, the difference, the standard error of the girls and the boys, the standard error of the difference, and the t-value uh, testing whether boys and girls differ in reading achievement. This concludes our demonstration of the software to compute percentages and means with and without plausible values. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. For more information on using the IDB Analyzer, please view our other online tutorials or refer to the help manual of the IDB Analyzer.